call is out, the call is made to come and join the circle now. The time is now, so don't delay. To all Corellians, join our circle now in perfect love and perfect trust walk this way. Join the circle now, Corillians. Come one all to circle now. Come guests and friends. Come all Corillians now. I call upon the sacred elemental dragons of myth and lore to bless our gathering with their gifts. Please. Now grant us with your presence and bestow upon our quarter callers your blessings. In the east, the air which blows, imagination, gifts set free. <coughs> Aid and protect us here today, and join all here in love with thee. Please answer this responsibly with me. In love we cast this circle fair of fire and water, earth and air. Create now in harmony, so deity, so mote it be. So mote it be. In the south, the fire which burns of truth and creativity. Aid and protect us here today, and join all here in love with thee. In love we cast this circle fair of fire and water, earth and air. Create now in harmony with deity, so mote it be. So mote it be. In the west, water of life, our mother's nurturing, flowing sea. Aid and protect us here today, and join all here in love with thee. In love we cast this circle fair, of fire and water, earth and air. Create now in harmony with deity, so mote it be. So, so mote it be. be. In the north, the solid earth, deep roots which ground our energy. Aid and protect us here today, and join all here in love with thee. In love we cast this circle fair of fire and water, earth and air. Create now in harmony with deities, so mote it be. So, so mote it be. be. 
So as we will it in harmony, our circle cast with love now be. So mote it be. So mote it be. I welcome you, fellow Carillians, friends, honored guests, to Watertown, Wisconsin, and the spring 2010 lustration. It is my honor as chief priest of Northern Temple, or Northern Lakes Temple, to welcome you into our home. If I can get the words out today. Um, this was a dream manifest three years ago um, by Lord Don graciously accepting our petition to host this event. The journey here has been quite interesting and quite unique. My meeting of this gentleman happened in year 2000. From that point, I went through my first degree, second and third. But at my first degree, I distinctly proclaimed to Lord Don that I would be the first full-fledged temple in Wisconsin. We made that first reality happen. This event is our second one. Our next goal is even loftier than that. Our next goal will be to create a permanent building within this area that will be open not only for Karelians, but for all people of all faiths to use, to enrich, to enlighten, and to pass on knowledge. I am a firm believer that our life experiences are a journey and not a destination, but I would like them to have a home that everyone can use and partake. As my friend Joshua would let you all know, I'm a tenacious person. I don't like to hear the word no. So this, it may take us a while, but this too shall happen. At this time, I'd like to ask Don, Don, or Lord Don to say a few words. Oh well, what am I gonna say? That's what I ask myself always in these moments. And what I want to say is that it's been 34 years since I was initiated as a Corellian priest. This weekend, we will have a number of people being initiated as Corellian priesthood. And in those 34 years, I have watched this tradition move from a small familial tradition to a global tradition. And, you know, as we've grown, we've had growing pains, but we've also had many wonderful victories. And for me, the thing which is the greatest joy of this tradition are the people. And I want to thank everyone who has come here, um, particularly Citrine, who's come from the other side of the world. Um, and I, I want to take a moment to say that watching people grow, watching people come into their own this tradition, uh, for me, has been a wonderful experience. I was remarking earlier to some of the priestesses who, who, are, uh, who are here this weekend that it's kind of nostalgic for me to look around and see, in certain cases, survivors of former temples which are no longer with us. And yet, many of the members are still with us and often, most often, the best members have stayed. And so even when we've had our bumps in the road, I feel that we, we have benefited tremendously from those experiences and from those people. Um, and we'll have more bumps, because there are always bumps. Uh, but we will still have benefit, and we will still have wonderful people. And the people, in the end, are the tradition. It's not the high priesthood, it's not the arch priesthood, it's not the structure, it's the people. And it's your hearts. And so, I thank you for having very open hearts and for being here with us. I also cannot help but mention uh, that Archpriestess Tracy and I have not been in a dragon ritual for 19 or 20 years. And the last one we were in, Tracy became a dragon's butt. Someday we'll put video of that online. But not yet. 
But uh, it's very interesting to me that we have the Dragon Energy at the beginning of this weekend. It is almost 20 years. It is almost 20 years. So it, um, it's very nostalgic for me to begin this life. So again, thank you everyone. And that concludes my speaking portion of this presentation. Let me go over how this weekend will go from an agenda standpoint. This evening we will have our dinner and keynote address by Selena Fox, Senior Minister and Founder of Circle Sanctuary. Um, for those of you that don't know it, Selena actually is celebrating a very important date with us today. It is approximately three years since the victory was won where fallen soldiers can now have a pentacle on their headstones. And we thank you for your service and continued duty to all pagans around the world. Thank you. Tomorrow, we will move this location slightly in the middle of the night, believe it or not. The circle that we have just cast will magically reappear at Riverside Park. Excellent. Whoever said that I really wanted to get up at 5.30 in the morning and walk into a police station to pick up keys to something. I just, there's something about voluntarily walking into a police station at 5.30 in the morning that is just not right. <laughs> Tomorrow morning from 8 until 9, we will have a continental breakfast for those of you that are not staying at hotels. And if you are, in most cases, we know that they serve wonderful spreads there. In most cases, the tree. <laughs> um, then again, at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, Lady Greenall will be speaking on the responsibilities of the higher priesthood. At 10 o'clock, Lord Don will lead a review of the Parliament of World Religions. At 11 o'clock, Reverend Marcy Vanderwell Hall will lead a discussion on pagans in the law. She is also a practicing attorney in Ohio. Maryland and D.C. Maryland and D.C. I am sorry. <laughs> From 2 until 4 will be our largest presentation of the day. Presented by the Red Dragon, none other than himself, Reverend Terry Power. That's because I've got the largest mouth of anybody here. This is true, but I didn't want to bring that up at this opening ceremony. But thank you for pointing it out. Should we clap? Certainly. Following that, we will have Creating and Maintaining Your Temple by myself and Reverend J.M. High Carell. We will then have the evening presentation and dinner. The Watan will be having dinner separately from the rest of the group so that we can have it as a working meeting. And then we will follow it with those that are being initiated and dedicated. You will be sequestered to an undisclosed location. <laughs> if I wanted to go to a former first priestess, I would do a, a maniacal laugh at this point, but I won't do that. <laughs> those of you that know my first degree initiation will understand the torture that I went through with that. The rest of you will be invited to join a social with drumming and games and all sorts of noise-making events uh, by our own uh, Crystal Sparks from Northern Lakes that will handle that end of the portion. On Sunday, we will reconvene at Riverside Park. Uh, we will have a breakfast again from about 8.30 to 9.30. Shortly after that, we will do the illustration practice. Then we will do the actual ritual, have a very brief lunch, and after that, we will have a short workshop on hand fastings for the clergy assembled. And then it is my distinct honor to hand fast my best friend and his beloved, Joshua and Chris. And then we will do closing ceremonies. And Northern Lakes at that point will hand the torch off to Reverend Jeffrey. And for next spring's lustration in Dallas, Texas. Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth, okay. That actually sounds better. It does. <laughs> so. Let me uh, go back into here. So we've gone over some of our honored guests. You've met Lord Don, 
Reverend Selena. I want to thank and appreciate our Arch Priestess, Lady Tracy, for making it up here today. Uh, Marcy for making and traveling in from Ohio for us today. Reverend Citrine for making it from Australia and doing her making Watertown one of her stops on her whirlwind tour. We hope that she will be able to continue on to England as long as a volcano doesn't spew any more ash. <laughs> and Reverend Alyssa for coming in from New York. And Reverend Perry from all points in between. <laughs> Connecticut, Canada, Barbados. You just have to sit there and figure out where his passport is and look where the last stamp was <laughs> along those lines. I really want to thank everybody that's traveled distances to come here. Um, we have two unfortunate sad events that are going on at this moment. I would ask for a moment of silence for one of my temple's uh, losses that just happened and it's questionable whether she'll be able to be here for initiations tomorrow night. Um, her name is Sherry, her daughter Samantha um, lost their grandmother, great-grandmother, um, just the other day. And uh, we ask Goddess to ease their pain and suffering and to accept into her arms that which is passed over by the name of Elizabeth. Moment of silence. The other event kept one of us from getting here. The aforementioned volcano and um, a personal illness in a family member, but our guardian at Salem, Freyatu, could not be with us. And he is sorely missed. His energy is phenomenal, and he lends well to any discussion. So we send him our love and blessings as well. With that, on behalf of Northern Lakes Temple and myself, the high priesthood of the temple, I extend my blessings to each and every one of you, our Carillians around the world, and our ancestors who I know are with us. Because one of them is bloody well screaming in my head right now to shut up and get on with the show. <laughs> with that, we will get on with our dinner at our kitchen, which is have worked on so... It's not quite ready, it's me. It's not quite ready. We'll clap anyway. We'll clap anyway. <laughs>